Hello, everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a keyboard shortcut for extract widget on Mac OS in Visual Studio Code. If you're like me and you like to extract your widgets into their own widgets in Flutter, you're probably familiar with this menu. You can say Command Dot in Macintosh and then go to, uh, actually, let me do some reshuffling on the screen. You can do Command Dot and then you can go to Extract Widget right here. But there is a better way of doing it. You can actually assign a keyboard shortcut to that menu item in uh, Mac OS. I'm going to show you how. So if you open System Preferences and then go to Keyboard, then go to Shortcuts and then App Shortcuts, as you can see in here, then press the plus button and then choose Visual Studio Code from the list, then write the menu items title in here, and that is Extract Widget. And then I usually assign something like Control, Option, Command, E as an extract. And you can decide this your own by, by yourself, but I usually like to choose a, a keyboard shortcut that is not already occupied by Visual Studio Code itself. So otherwise, it's going to col uh, basically collide with an existing shortcut. So Command, Alt, uh, Control, and E is usually a good option for Extract Widget. And then you say Add in here. And now if you bring that menu up again with Command Dot, you'll see that there's a menu shortcut assigned to it. So instead of Command Dot and then scrolling all the way down, now you can do Command Dot and then your shortcut, and it will do the same thing. So you can see that I can start typing my new um, widget name on top. So really, it's in two steps, command dot, and then you assign a um, keyboard shortcut to that menu item, and then you can press that immediately instead of having to scroll to that item. So this was just a short video, a very, very short. I think it's the shortest video I've recorded. So I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.